130 years ago, the world was immersed in a tempest of battle known as the Silent Night, resulting in countless deaths and causing people to lose hope. In response to the never-ending destruction, a central heavenly alliance was formed, and they decided to create a sect that could put an end to the chaos. The leader of the first sect was Buck Tin Hu, and the sect was named Northern Heavenly Sect. After its establishment, the sect was able to push back the advancement of the Silent Night. Time passed, and the second generation sect leader became Nam Mu San, followed by Yu Quan Yon as the third generation sect leader. They later led thousands of prominent martial artists, and the Northern Heavenly Sect developed to the fourth generation, with Jin Quan Ho as the sect leader, who became the pillar of the Northern Heavenly Sect. The great four of the Northern Heavens were named Zhou Chen Wu for Demon Fist, Kaiang Mu Xing for Tempest Storm, Yon Chen Hwa for Cursed Ghost Blade, and Yi Hyok Stem for Iron Blood. They played a crucial role in keeping away the Silent Night. After the Silent Night disappeared, Jin Mu Wan, who was 13 years old, saw that the North Wall had crumbled and reported it to his father. All along the Great Wall, people were wondering why the North Wall had crumbled and how sect leader Jin could have betrayed them. All four pillars of the Northern Heavenly Sect testified against leader Jin. The sect leader declared that the Northern Heavenly Sect would be disbanded and the disciples of the Northern Sect had to find a new home. This was his final order as the Northern Heavenly Sect leader. The Northern Heavenly Sect was created to protect people from the Silent Night. After the fall of the Northern Wall, the fourth generation sect leader Jin Quan Ho eventually killed himself to protect his son. Three years later, the son of the three Northern Sect leaders was being tortured by a man named Jiang Pi San who was trying to obtain the weapon and martial techniques location. The Silent Knight had erased its presence from the world, and the world began to believe that the sect had finally disappeared. However, this was not the case. The Central Heavenly Alliance had dispatched mercenaries to keep watch over a certain individual, the last living descendant of the Northern Heavenly Sect's former leader, Jin Muwon. The mercenaries were there to prevent this person from learning the martial arts of the sect and seeking revenge against those who had disbanded it. The previous guards had allowed the boy to read books, but they had not let him learn any martial arts. The Central Heavenly Alliance and the Great Four of the Northern Heavens had also taken away all knowledge and artifacts pertaining to martial arts. The mercenaries searched the area thoroughly, but they found no hidden martial scrolls. They discovered that the boy had taken up blacksmithing to make a living. However, the Central Heavenly Alliance and the Great Four of the Northern Heavens left nothing to chance and swept the place clean of all valuable artifacts. The mercenaries threatened the boy, but ultimately let him go, warning him that they would come after him if he did anything suspicious. They also believed that the loyal disciples of the Northern Heavenly Sect would come to his rescue. But the boy had lost all hope and believed that no one cared about the ruined sect anymore. However, there was still a glimmer of hope. The heart of the Northern Heavenly Sect was still alive. There was a secret martial scroll, the ultimate martial scroll of the Northern Heavenly Sect, which not even the Great Four of the Northern Heavens knew about. This scroll was the key to reviving the Northern Heavenly Sect. The Northern Heavenly Sect was renowned for their ultimate martial scroll, and their ruined walls were called the Wall of the Ten Thousand Shadows. The wall was built by the first sect leader, Buck Jin Hu, and cast a shadow on the ground as the sun set in the east, with a mysterious pattern that eventually turned into written language. The language was from the forgotten Lower Moon Kingdom and continued down to the fourth generation sect leader, Jin Quan So. Jin Mu Wan's father taught him the language of the Lower Moon Kingdom instead of martial arts at a young age. Later, Mr. H. Wang, a former warrior of the Northern Heavenly Sect and now a wandering merchant, visited Jin Mu Wan to accomplish a mission. Although Mr. H. Wang was the weakest warrior in the Northern Heavenly Sect, he was loyal and faithful, and Jin Quan Ho led him through the basics of martial arts while protecting his body. Mr. 
H. Wang's brought some supplies, including a thick winter blanket, to help Jin Mu Wan live on his own. After the Northern Heavenly Sex Betrayal, the four greats of the Northern Heaven each created their own martial forces. The broken fist settled in unnamed. The cursed ghost blade gathered a group of Kai swordsmen and settled in the west as the Western Heaven's protector. The tempest storm assembled a group named the Billowing Clouds, and the Iron Blood ruler built the Iron Castle in the north. The Demon Fist was known for their cruelty, and they created the Broken Fist troops. Mr. H. Wang told Jin Mu Wan about a warrior named Dam Su Chen, the third son of the Nine Skies, who caused destruction and fear among the people of Murum every time he challenged someone, despite being only 18 years old. After Mr. Quag left, a woman attacked him. She was severely injured and required immediate medical attention. Jin Mu Sun rushed to her aid and administered an anti-poison antidote to save her life. After three days, the woman regained consciousness and was grateful for being saved. She asked Jin Mu Sun about the person who saved her, but he lied to her and told her it was someone else. However, the woman soon discovered that she could no longer access her internal energy and suspected that Jin Mu Sun had used a specific antidote on her. She was desperate to know what antidote was used on her, hoping it could help her regain her internal energy. Sa Ryung, who had been in hiding for a while, returned and used his internal energy to remove the poison from her body. She was injured and asked her servant why he hadn't gone after his master. He replied that he believed the master would be safe, but his priority was to keep the young miss, Sa Ryung, safe. The servant advised her to stay with Jin Woon So until they found the master, and she could recover her internal energy. Jin Won So left the Central Heavenly Alliance due to the use of a martial art that shrouded itself in darkness. He had no other choice but to leave. The woman, whose identity was unknown, questioned Jin Won So and asked why he didn't inquire about her identity. Meanwhile, Jin Mu Wan contemplated learning a blade of external darkness and a mysterious sword created with a soul. He had observed the basics of swordsmanship and was utilizing proper sword techniques. The first sect leader was also a vagabond and a genius swordsman who was able to create a martial art due to the nature of the martial arts that he shrouded in darkness. The Northern Heavenly Sect was a powerful martial arts organization within the Central Heavenly Alliance also known as the Four Dead Heavens, led by the Crimson King's demonic Shim Mui. Among their members were Shim Su Ah, a 14-year-old daughter, and Shim Wan Li, a 19-year-old son. The Seo Mun family, known for their pursuit of knowledge, included Hai Ryung, a 20-year-old granddaughter. These were the members of the Northern Heavenly Sect. Jang Pi San was the captain of the Central Heavenly Alliance's third mercenary group. But the woman who had been injured and hidden for a long time could not remember any of these people due to her dull senses. Despite not knowing his name, she encouraged Jin Mu Sun, whom she called Yun Ha Seol. They introduced themselves, and Jin Mu Sun claimed that the woman was his cousin. While the Northern Heavenly Sect tried to determine her true identity, the members of the Northern Heavenly Sect were determined to restore their former glory and protect the system they had built. Meanwhile, Mok Yun Pyong was ready to do whatever it took to assist the Dead Heavens. Soon, a fight broke out, and Jin Mu Sun was asked to demonstrate his martial arts skills. After the Central Heavenly Alliance arrived, one of their members attacked Jin Woon and was about to kill him. However, the woman accompanying him came to his rescue, and they provided him with renowned medicine to heal. The woman was angry and questioned why he couldn't defend himself. When the servant returned, he informed the young woman that their master was in good health and that they should prepare to meet him. The hidden force of the demonic flames joined them and used their bone techniques, which turned out to be stronger than expected. When Jin woke up, the young woman apologized on behalf of Master Shim for intruding on their place without permission. She didn't expect Jin to fight them, even though her grandfather was the seeker of knowledge and one of the nine central skies. She claimed to be different. 
He Ryan was furious with Master Shim and wanted to put an end to his mess. The group had created a demon named Timu Kyang from Chaotic Energy to locate the hidden ghost troop, but the demon failed to find them after losing their location and contact information. Consequently, the ghost troop was entirely annihilated. However, Jin Mu Sun and He Ryan managed to destroy the hidden ghost. The Black Wolves continued their hunting journey, while Yok Swol, an elite tiger guard, engaged in a fight with a man over a woman, and he was furious about killing the second person. Jin Mu Wan gave He Ryan a gift because he believed she was going to die soon and wanted her to remember him. He Ryan was surprised by the gesture since she had never received a gift before and was very excited. Meanwhile, Jin Mu Sun's servant was scheduled to deliver a message to He Ryan the following morning, informing her that his master was eager to see her. The servant remembered He Ryan, but there was no personal attachment. The second servant, who had fought with a demon earlier, was now wondering how He Ryan could choose the demon over him. He was hurt and could not control his anger anymore, thinking to himself until he heard a sound. As the man heard a sound, he went to the door and found the martial master whom he admired. It was Jin Mu Wan, the leader of the Northern Heavenly Sect. Meanwhile, Ha Yi Ryang's elder brother and younger sister arrived to visit her and continue their journey. He Ryang noticed an injury on Master Dam and asked if he got it from his last opponent. She then explained that Dam Su Chin, the man who picked her up, was the third son of the Sacred Passage and the one who inquired about Jin Mu Sun. He Ryang's family harbors deep hatred for the heavenly sect, which they believe will kill them on sight. Jin Mu Wan becomes curious about He Ryang's relationship with Dam Su Chin and intimidates those around him with his aura and kai. Jin Mu Sun receives a message from Mok Yun Pyung inviting him to dinner at H. Wei Song's residence. He accepts and is asked to accompany his cousin. Upon his arrival, he meets Dam Su Chin at the gate and is welcomed into the Northern Heavenly Sect for a while. They both enter the residence, and everyone wonders if He Ryung is among them. As they discuss the creation of the Cerulean Dragon Society, Jing Mu Wan expresses his belief that the older generation of martial artists won't approve of the younger generation forming a group. They decide to establish the society at H. Washin Place where the history of a silent night a hundred years ago inspires them. Before they leave, they see a soldier stationed at the northwest entrance and suspect it might be Chung Kyan. He Ryan refers to them all as idiots and expresses her excitement at the prospect of protecting Jin Mu Wan. As they discuss how they can join the Cerulean Dragon with Jin Mu Wan society and change the world together, He Ryan remains uncomfortable with Jin Mu Sun's presence but has no choice but to stay. As chaos erupted outside, everyone inside noticed and went out to see what was happening. They were all wondering who was causing the havoc until they realized it was Dam Su Chin, who had taken on the fancy nickname the Rising Star of the Eastern Sky and had also gathered the hidden ghost troop. The leader of the younger generation soon realized that Dam Su Chin was just a kid. People became angry and chased after him until they realized that he was neither a martial artist from the mainland nor a person from the Silent Night. General Yope Wall was confused about what was happening, and he Ryan didn't know who the monster was. They were being chased, and Jin Mu Wan came to He Ryan's rescue. She told him to leave the place because they were after his son's life. He Ryan wondered if the men chasing them were from the Silent Night but the Silent Knight had disappeared decades ago, so why were they still fighting? After a while, Dam Su Chin managed to escape, but the people who attacked him had more strength than he did. He Ryan thought that it was important to get to know people well, because it would lead to strength and a return of favor. Later, the story shifted to a small boy who saved someone's life during a martial arts fight. The person he saved was spared by the demonic diver, who saw potential in him and let him lie. He asked the person to find him when he got stronger so he could kill him. Just as the demonic diver was about to kill him, 
The small boy intervened and introduced himself. The boy's father was one of the central heavenly alliances of the Nine Skies, named Shim Mui. The boy told the demonic diver that if he stopped now, his father would come and kill him again. The younger sister of the demonic diver, Su Ah, exploded, and the demonic hands of the Crimson King were around the place. He Ryang was still saving Jin Mu Wan, but the situation was getting worse. He Ryang's younger brother suggested relocating elsewhere, and He Ryang suggested leaving only with Master Dam and Master Him, and leaving everyone else behind. They prepared a plan for Jin Mu Wan, but they threw him away and returned to the mainland to prepare a new one. He Ryang decided that nobody could find out about Master Dam's loss. She could now distribute her spiritual energy without any tools, and with the power of the Seo Mun family enveloping the destiny of the heavenly illusion. They knew the monster was coming back to break out his illusion, and they needed to move quickly before his arrival. The demonic chaos was about to kill He Ryan's son, who was their only hope. Jin Mu Wan knew He Ryan was not normal at their first sighting. The Witch of the White Knight, Hassel was the descendant of the Witch of the White Knight and was known as the Berserker of Destruction. The demonic chaos was angry and wanted to kill Jin Mu Wan, but He Ryung asked him to escape and left a letter for him. Later, the demonic chaos saw He Ryung's son and asked, Who is he?